Today, let's discuss the mechanisms behind the pain relieving effects of opioids. Located in the brain and dorsal horn of the spinal cord are opioid receptors that mediate the therapeutic analgesic effects and side effects of opioid medications. These receptors are located in many areas of the brain, including the thalamus, and in the periaqueductal gray and locus ceruleus that are originations for descending inhibitory pathways. When these pathways are activated, the signals descend to the spinal cord to inhibit ascending pain signals and prevent them from reaching the brain. Opioids act as agonists at three main receptor types to exert their actions. Mu receptors are responsible for the majority of opioid effects, including but not limited to analgesia, which is the pain relieving effect, euphoria, sedation, respiratory depression, and decreased peristalsis in the gut, leading to constipation. Delta receptors in the brain may have a hallucinogenic effect. They are also located in the gut and cause decreased gastrointestinal secretions. Kappa receptors mediate dysphoria by reducing dopamine release. The best understood mechanisms of opioid action are those that occur in the spinal cord. Remember that pain signals are transmitted from the periphery to the CNS by way of lightly myelinated A delta fibers or non-myelinated C fibers, which make up the primary neuron. In the substantia gelatinosa of the spinal cord, the primary neuron synapses with a secondary neuron that carries the pain signal to the brain. Let's take a closer look at what happens in the substantia gelatinosa. Taking a closer look, note that the pain signal is transmitted from the primary neuron to the secondary neuron by way of excitatory neurotransmitters like substance P and glutamate being released from the primary neuron to bind two receptors on the secondary neuron, causing EPSPs, or excitatory postsynaptic potentials, in the membrane of the secondary neuron, leading to an action potential that can then be sent along the secondary neuron to the brain. Let's show how opioids can interrupt this synaptic transmission. The details of pain modulation by opioids in the substantia gelatinosa is as follows. Activation of G-protein coupled mu receptors by opioids in the membrane of the axon terminal cause closure of calcium channels, leading to less release of excitatory neurotransmitters like substance P and glutamate from the axon terminal of the primary neuron. This reduction in release of excitatory neurotransmitters leads to less excitation of the secondary neuron, hyperpolarization, and a decrease in the action potential frequency, decreasing pain signals sent to the brain. Opioids also bind to opioid mu receptors in the membrane of the cell body, or dendrites of secondary neurons, and cause opening of potassium channels. This also leads to hyperpolarization of the secondary neuron and a decrease in action potential frequency in the secondary neuron, causing less pain signals to be sent to the brain. So now you can see how opioids acting as agonists on mu receptors in the substantia gelatinosa of the spinal cord leads to a disruption in pain signals, ultimately decreasing the intensity of the painful thumb hammer experience. Here is a diagram summarizing the actions of opioids in the substantia gelatinosa. Now for some questions. Pause the video and select your answer. If you answered C, you are correct. And more questions. If you answered the following, you are correct. And one last question. If you answered B, you are correct.
Thanks for watching.